Hello friends, this video on control and coordination part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now talk about information detection and impulse conduction by nerve cells. How actually this, how, how the nerve cells actually detect some external information. Now that we have already understood the structure of a neuron, I'm sure that you have guessed that how this transfer actually takes place. But still let us have a look at it in detail. Now specialized tips of some nerve cells in the sensory organs. What will they do? They actually sense the external stimuli. For example, there is a tiger. So who sees that there is a tiger? Our eyes. So eyes are nothing but the sensory organs. So the cells of these sensory organs have specialized tips because of which they are able to sense the external stimuli. Right? And how it enters the neurons? It enters through the dendrites. So the dendrites will actually bring the information from outside. So we can see that the information from outside are received by the specialized tips of some nerve cells and these receptors are present in the sense organs, the sensory organs. Now as I mentioned in the previous slides, dendrites will receive the information. So it will bring the information inside the neuron or inside the cell body of a neuron. Now once it brings the information, a chemical reaction starts. So that means this is how the neurons are connected. So you see here these are the dendrites of a neuron and these are the axon endings. Again these, these are dendrites of the second neurons and these are the axon endings. These are dendrites of the third neuron. So that is how the neurons are connected. Right? So in, dendrite will bring the information into the cyton that is the cell body. So from some external information it will bring inside the cell body. Now what happens as the information comes in? A chemical reaction will start and this chemical reaction will produce an electric impulse. So a chemical reaction starts which will produce an electrical impulse. So now we have an electrical impulse in the cell body or the cyton. Now from the cyton where will it go? From cyton this electric impulse will go to the axon. So that means from cyton it will go towards the axon. Right? So from axon it will go to the axon endings. That means this information will come to these points, the axon endings. And from axon endings what at axon endings what will happen this electrical so right now whatever is traveling that is nothing but the electric impulse right so this electric impulse is actually traveling from cyton to axon to axon endings now at the axon endings these electrical impulse will again get converted into chemicals now how this conversion of chemicals into electrical impulse happens that we will study in our higher classes but because that involves little complex equations and chemical reactions. So we will speak about that in our higher classes. So for now you should just know this that the, at the axon endings the electric impulse will again get converted into chemicals and then these chemicals will actually cross the synapse that means the gap. So you see here is a gap. So that gap is nothing but the synapse. So the chemicals will then cross the synapse. So where it will go after crossing the synapse, it will reach the dendrite of the next neuron. So it reaches the other neuron. So that is how the information will get. So when it reaches the other neuron, what will happen? Again, the chemical reaction will start in that dendrite. So electric impulse will be produced and the electric impulse will move to the cyton. From cyton, it will go to axon. From there, it will go to axon endings. There again, the chemicals will get converted. Uh, the electrical impulse will get converted to chemicals. They will cross the synapse and reach the third neuron. So that is how the information or the impulse conduction happens in case of nerve cells. So this process continues. So here in this picture what I tried to show was these are the chemicals which are actually crossing the synapse. So this is the synapse. So this is axon endings 
and here this is the dendrite and this is the synapse and what are these small molecules which you see here these are nothing but the neurotransmitters because they are the ones who are actually transmitting information and here in the dendrites you have since dendrites receive information so they have receptors so the, these structures they are nothing but the receptors present on dendrites or the receiving ends of the dendrite so these receiving ends will actually receive the neurotransmitters clear okay so therefore we can say that conduction of impulses is an electrochemical phenomenon why is it an electrochemical phenomenon electrochemical because when we talk about electro we are talking about the electrical impulses because the transfer happens in the form of electric impulses why chemical because these electric chemical impulses are generated as a result of chemical reactions and again when these electric impulses have to cross the synapse between two neurons the they are converted into chemicals and those chemicals transfer the synapse so if you see that entire process it involves either the chemicals or the electric impulses so this phenomenon is a electrochemical phenomenon so here you can see the transfer how it takes place so this is how conduction of impulses take place in nervous system thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again